Greetings YouTubers, I'm Rick the Tech Enthusiast here with a little tech bit video on the binary coded decimal. In the previous lesson, I mentioned that the DS3231 RTC's time and date values are encoded in a binary coded decimal format. And if you're reading the bytes directly from the chip, it's nice to know what this means. Simply put, the binary coded decimal or BCD format is a method of storing decimal numbers where each decimal digit is represented in either a byte or a nibble. In some cases, other bit patterns can be used for signs, symbols, or letters. The DS3231 stores the time and dates as a packed encoded BCD byte, which basically means that each nibble or each four bits contains a separate decimal value. As an example, if we were reading the registry zero on the DS3231 RTC chip, the second byte might look like this. 01011001. The first nibble, or the first four least significant bits, would equate to nine, which in the DS3231 is the highest value for a single digit. In other words, there's no special characters. The next nibble, or the last four bits, would equate to five. So now we know that we're reading 59 seconds. The other time and date values work in a similar manner. The obvious advantage is that the coder could separate the nibble sections and pass those values to each digital LED circuit. But for the 16 by two LCD display and the alarm clock shown in lesson 19, I had to use a function to convert the BCD to binary and the binary back to BCD. These functions are included in the library rather than in the sketch and go something like this. The first function, BCD to binary, requires a BCD byte value as a passed parameter. Then the same value is used twice in the next line of code to create the normalized binary value. The first part takes the most significant nibble or the last four bits and shifts it right four bits. Then it multiplies that value by 10. I know we're mixing numerical base values, but the compiler handles this very gracefully in the background. The second part takes that original value and masks out the upper bits, leaving the ones place value behind. The two values are then added together and returned by the function. The second function, binary to BCD, performs the reverse. The binary value is passed again and used twice. The first part of the code divides the value by 10. The remainder is discarded. Then it shifts that value left four places, creating the most significant bits. The second part uses the arithmetic operator remainder, shown as a percent symbol. This divides the value by 10 and keeps the remainder and discards the quotient. The two values are or together and returned by the function. Of course, there are other BCD variations and I'll leave some links in the show notes below. And if you're interested, I encourage you to check them out. Well, that's it for this tech bit on the binary coded decimal format. If you have any questions like this, be sure to let me know in the comments section below and I'll try to make another TechBit video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks and see you next time.